Hello, third grade. We're going to do a listening today. Hope you like it. Nice. Here's the first exercise. You have to listen and draw the lines. The first one is an example. We're going to listen to an example first that it's already done for us. Okay. And then we'll listen to the rest of the question. Hello. This is the Movers Listening Test. Test one. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. That's a nice picture. It's a picture of the street in my village. It's very good. Can you tell me the names of all the people? Yes, OK. Well, the woman who works in the flower shop is Daisy. Oh, yes. She's picking up some flowers. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. OK, guys, let's go to the second part, the real part of the exercise, because as you can see, the line from the, the girl on, uh, in orange that works at the flower shop goes to Daisy because that's her name. So let's do the rest of the exercise. One. Can you see the man in the car? Yes. Well, that's my dad. His name's Paul. What? The man who's waving? Yes, that's him. He looks nice. Two. And do you know the person who works in the bookshop? No, I don't. What's her name? She's Anne. Is she standing next to the door? Yes, that's right. She's the one holding the books. Three. And Jill's my aunt. She's got a dog. Can you see her? Uh, there are two women with dogs. Yes. Well, Jill's the one running. Her dog's very strong. Oh, yes. She's got curly hair. Yes, that's her. Four. What's the name of the woman in the cake shop? The one with the orange dress. Yes, she's the one. Oh, she's Jane. Right. Five. And who's the man coming out of the cake shop? You mean the man carrying a very big cake? Yes. His name's Sam. Thank you. Now listen to part one again. That is the end of part one. OK, guys, so now... Let's try and correct this together, OK? So, remember, the, the, the man in the car, what was his name? Do you remember his name? That's correct, his name was Paul. How about the girl that works at the workshop, the person that works at the workshop? What was his? I don't remember if it's a his or a she. If it's a she or a he. So what was that person's name? Anne. Yeah, it was a girl. So the the person, the girl that works at the workshop at the bookshop is called Anne. How about the the aunt of the girl that is talking, that is walking the dog? Remember, the one with the curly hair that's running. What was her name? She sees she's, she's running and she has curly blonde hair. Her name was 
Jill. Excellent. How about the lady that works in the bakery that is wearing a, a um, orange dress? What was her name? Jane. And the man that is coming out of the bakery with a big cake? What is his name? His name is Sam. Okay, so we're going to go directly into the next exercise. What did Kim do last week? Listen and draw lines from the day to the correct picture. The first one, remember, we're going to listen to an example that it's already done for us, that it's Sunday. Can you see that line? Okay, let's listen to it. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Kim do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hi, Kim. Did you have a good holiday last week? Yes, thanks. Great! I went to my cousin's house in Scotland. When did you leave? Was it Sunday afternoon? Yes, that's right. I went by plane. By plane? Wow! Can you see the word Sunday? On Sunday, Kim went by plane to see her cousin. Now you listen and draw the lines. Here we go, guys. Try and think about these questions, okay? Looking at the picture and deciding which day did she do each thing. One. On Tuesday, we went to the beach because it was sunny. On Tuesday? What did you do there? Oh, we looked for shells. I found some very nice shells. And did you bring them home? Some, yes. Two. And what about Monday? What did you do then? We went on a bus to see the mountains. Did you like it? Oh, yes. And there are a lot of lakes, and they say that a monster lives in one of them. A monster? Oh, no! Three. And on Wednesday? Oh, we went climbing. In the mountains? Well, up one small mountain, but it was difficult. Did you get to the top? Yes. Four. And did you go to the beach again on Thursday? No, we went on Friday. And we climbed on the rocks and went fishing. And did you catch any fish? <laughs> no. Five. What about Thursday then? Oh, well, on Thursday it rained all day. So we went to the cinema and watched a good film. <laughs> Was it about monsters? <laughs> no. It was about lions. I liked it a lot. So, you had a good holiday with your cousin then, Kim? Yes. I can't wait to go again. Now listen to part three again. That is the end of part three. Okay, everyone. So now let's correct it together. What did the girl do on, did on Tuesday? What did Kim do on Tuesday? That's correct. She went to the beach to find some shells. But how about Monday? What did they do on Monday? They took a tour on a bus. They took a tour on a bus. And on Wednesday? What did they do on Wednesday? That's right, they climbed a mountain. 
How about Thursday? All right, first they talk about Friday because Friday they went back to the beach. They went back to the beach and they were fishing and climbing rocks. And on Thursday, remember, it was raining all day, so they went to the cinema. Okay, the next exercise. This one is very easy, guys. You just have to tick the correct answer, okay? Listen and tick the box. There is one example. Let's listen to that example first. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. Which is Daisy's sister? Look, there's my sister. Which one is she, Daisy? She's got long blonde hair. Oh, yes, I see. And she's wearing a blue sweater? Yes, and jeans. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. Ready? I'm going to put the audio on. Remember, start thinking while we listen. One. How does Jack go to school? How do you go to school, Jack? Do you go by bus? No, I go by train. Right. And you walk to the station? Well, no. I take my bike to be quick. That's good. Two. What did Sally do at the weekend? Did you have a nice weekend, Sally? Yes, I went out with my friend. Did you go to the shops? No, we went to a cafe. Oh, did you enjoy your lunch? Well, we only had a drink, but we enjoyed it. Three. Which book does Mary want to find? Can I help you? Yes. I need a book. It's called Cold Mountain. Cold Mountain. Oh, yes. It's there. Can you see it? No. Has it got a picture of a mountain on it? No. It's a forest, and there's a man and two women in the picture. Oh, I see it. Thanks. Four. What can Peter see from his window? So, how's your new house, Peter? Great! And I can see the river from my window. And the trees? Well, no. The village shops. But there is a waterfall, and that's nice. Five. Where does Jane want to go? Shall we go to the park today, Jane? The park? But it's raining. It's wet. I want to go to the cinema. Oh, not the cinema again. How about the supermarket? There are some things I need to buy. The supermarket? You always want to go there. Now listen to part four again. That is the end of part four. Okay, <clears throat> so let's correct them together. Number one, how does Jack go to school? That's correct, he's B, remember? He takes the train, but he also uses his bike. Number two, what did Sally do at the weekend? She went out with a friend. They were at a cafe, but they didn't eat anything. They just had a drink. So which letter do you think is the correct one? Letter A. Which book does Mary want to find? It's called something mountain, but there's no mountains at the back. There's a big forest and there's a man and two women. So which one is the correct answer? Letter C. What can Peter see from, the, from his window? He can see the town shops, 
but he can also see a waterfall and he says that it's beautiful. So again, let her see. And this one is a little bit tricky. Where does Jane want to go? She didn't want to go to the park, but she didn't want to go shopping either. She wanted to go to the cinema. And we go directly into the last exercise, guys. This one is a coloring exercise, okay? So, bring out your imagination <clears throat> and in your imaginary colors and try and color this beautiful picture. The first one, it's an example. Here we go. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Paul. Do you like this picture? Yes. Can I colour it, please? OK. Can you see two trees? There's a big one and a small one. Yes. On the island. Good. Well, colour the small one green. OK. Can you see the small green tree? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. Let's go to it. One. Do you like dolphins? Dolphins? Yes, I do. Can you see the dolphin under the people? Under the people? Yes. Shall I colour it blue? OK. Two. Now, there are two giraffes. Can you see the baby one? The baby giraffe? I can see its head. Well, colour its head pink. OK, then. Three. OK, Paul. Would you like to draw something for me now? Yes. Can you see the bird? Yes. Its mouth is open. That's right. Well, can you draw a leaf in the bird's mouth? A leaf? Yes. Four. Now, there's a man in the boat. Yes, he's got a hat on. Shall I colour it? Yes, please. Would you like to colour his hat yellow? OK. Five. Can you see some fish, Paul? Yes, there are two. Well, one of the fish is above the elephant's head. Above the elephant's head? Oh, yes. I see it. Can I colour it orange? Yes, that's a good colour. Now listen to part five again. That is the end of Movers Listening Test 1. Okay, so here we go. 
Remember the dolphin under the people? We had to color it blue. Excellent. The next part that they tell us to do is the giraffes. And they talk about the baby giraffe that we can only see the head. And we, can, we had to color it pink. The next one is a little bit different. We had to draw a leaf on the bird, the one with the mouth, oh, with the opened mouth. So here we go. That's my leaf. I know it's not very good. Don't laugh at it. Now, the man, the hat uh, on the man's head, what color did, did that hat have to be? Yellow. And last but not least, the fish that it's next to or above, the, the elephant's head had to be? Orange. Okay, guys, very good work. I'm really, really proud of you. Have fun. See you next time.